Okay, so we, uh, I forgot to uh, press record before the uh, movie portion of the turn. All that really happened was two Jakes launched 1 a.m. and 1 p.m. strike on my Task Force 8 here uh, near uh, Atu Island. And um, one got shot down by FAC and the other missed with all its bomb attempts. So that's, you know, that's all that's going on there. Um, in terms of things here, I have all of these forces uh, unloading, basically. They're all unloading here at Adak. And Adak is still hungrily expanding. 96% um, port capacity are at level two, so it'll become level three next turn. And then I'm expanding the airport capacity. When that gets to level four, I'll stop expanding that. And then just focus completely on the port. Um, in terms of what's here, this sub has made it. And I'm standing it down for repairs. Yeah, good. Then this task force is loaded up. Cancel load supplies because I want these guys to come down here and to bring their engineers to bear <coughs> on Adak Island. And then in terms of these guys, Okay, the P-38s are getting ready. Good. And more and more of the planes are getting ready. That's good to see. The B-24s are in good shape. So, um, yeah, they can, they can hold off for now. And what I'd like to do is launch a bombardment task force comprising of the three battleships yeah and the cruisers who are in the best shape the destroyer minesweeper we'll risk one and we'll risk two destroyers and two light cruisers and another destroyer. So three destroyers and this. Okay, three battleships, two light cruisers, four destroyers and a destroyer minesweeper. That seems like a decent force composition to me. And you are going to go to Kiska Island and you are going to take the coastal route and you are going to have mission speed. Now, where is your commander? Evaluation of McFarland. Ooh. Jesus, he's not very good, is he? But he's not going to run into something this turn. So, yeah, I'll, I won't waste the uh, political points on him because let's say if I did want to get a really good guy. Seven. Hmm.
Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to do some proper damage this time. Okay. And then let me see. If they're gonna do mission, they're going to do this at night. So flying day operations recon set all float planes in this task force okay and then the two seagulls here are going to recon Kiska during the daytime okay and I have Lots and lots of reserves in these squadrons. So I don't need more than that. Okay. And. Uh, oh yeah, let's check the CVE. Did all those pilots come through? For God's sake. One day. Hmm. Well, here you guys are. Second, a type KD6A is moving to Paramushiro Jimo. Okay. KD6A. So let's remind myself what type of submarine that is. Yeah, and I always check the uh, if I'm if I'm checking something like this, I check the editor, just in case the person has done something squirrely with, um, you know, the design, whether they've modified it in some way or not. Okay. KD six A. Okay. Ship classes. Ships. Okay. Ship classes. Okay. Type. K6, something along these lines. Oh, KD6A, okay. Okay, so big fleet submarine. Radio transmissions at ADAC, okay, or ATU. And how much more of 11 to USAF? Ah, oh, Jesus, I have 59 naval support behind. Okay, there's quite a lot of that still to come. Okay. And for this, escorts do not bombard. 
Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Lesson learned. And does this load tender? Okay, it's taking on as much as it's going to take on there. Okay, they're winning their fight. And the Detroit is winning its fight. Excellent. So that is it for today.